Prominent cardiologist fears non-COVID-19 patients will die waiting to get care. ABC 7's JC Navarrete spoke with him and he joins us live outside of UMC where those pressurized tents have been set up to make room for more patients, JC. Yeah, you're absolutely right, Steph. Good evening. Now, we are outside UMC, and there's just no other way to say it. Hospitals have reached that breaking point. Now, that cardiologist I spoke with, Dr. Juan Taveras, tells me his patients aren't able to get routine heart procedures. That's putting them at a potential life or death situation. To me, this is apocalyptic. There's no other way of describing it. Dr. Juan Taveras putting this capacity crisis into his own words. Tonight, tents set up outside University Medical Center to clear space for more patients. This video provided to us by UMC showing additional beds being unloaded. ABC News, Marcus Moore speaking with UMC's chief medical officer. Their families go into a building and then they don't see them for a long time. Most of the time they come out feeling better. Unfortunately, there are occasions where they don't. Hospitals now making plans to airlift non-COVID patients in the ICU to other cities. Dr. Taveras fears for cardiac patients' families. Now you're out of town. If you end up dying from this, you know, your family is going to have to go there or transport you somewhere somehow. This is not only a matter of concern from the cardiac standpoint. There's a humanitarian problem. We're just outside UMC, one of the area hospitals that have gotten pressurized tents set up. And one of the biggest fears Dr. Juan Taveras has is to see one of the ambulance bays that you see behind me resemble that of a parking lot, meaning if capacity here in El Paso does not improve, patients needing critical care may be forced to wait in line. This is a disaster. People are going to start dying. As a matter of fact, they started dying already, not because they have the COVID, but from the COVID, because the COVID has impaired the ability to deliver care. That's what's happening right now. Yeah, simply put, it is a capacity crisis here in El Paso. Now, it is worth noting with tonight's first alert for freezing temperatures, those tents that have been set up are warm in there. They are set up for this type of weather, so anybody in there should be fine tonight and going forward. Now, we also want to remind you that curfew that was put in place is now in effect, so a good reminder not to go out unless you absolutely have to, only for essential duties and those face masks. More important now than ever. Reporting live in South Central El Paso, JC Navarrete, ABC7. All right.